all right so this is the 1500 dollars gaming pc that i'm really hooked on to now this is the amd version that provides better gaming performance but there is an intel version that i will upload um next or maybe you can find it down in the description so hey without wasting any more time press on that like button subscribe and let's get to the benchmarks and first up we got cyberpunk 2077 and for 1500 dollars pc with a very capable gpu we were getting an 8k 37 to 40 fps performance so yeah everything set to ultra fsr set to quality but ray tracing is turned off of course uh because this is not a ray tracing gpu so you kind of guessed what it is anyways looking at warzone 2 at 1440p ultra fsr set to quality we were getting around near 200 frames per second which is really good this is an fps competitive game but hey don't try to stretch over that because this is the highest you can go in terms of frame rates next up we got god of war with fsr set to quality high settings as you can see 8k we were getting a constant 60 frames per second god of war is a really cool looking game and the fact that we are getting this type of frame rates and this type of you know graphical settings is awesome red dead redemption 2 ultra high settings which is the highest settings you know an fsr set to quality at 8k we were getting 50 frames per second now of course we can lower down the settings to get that constant 60 fps but hey that's another game and the last game that we're looking at which is a hogwarts legacy at 4k i believe ultra settings we can easily get 60 fps with this gpu of course so yeah for the cpu and the board actually Actually, because this is a combo deal we are looking at the ryzen 5 7600 that comes with its own cooler and the gigabyte b650m dash ds3h so we're basically paying 100 for the b650m board and the full price for the ryzen 5 7600 now this is the cheapest ryzen 7000 series cpu that you can get right now you'll have some problems with the temperatures of course so you can have to do some a lot of modification actually if you are gonna use the stock cooler or you can you go with an aftermarket cooler at Power one if you'd like to get lower temps i'll leave some links in the description on how to manage uh, the lower temps and the b650m that's ds3h is a very good board it gets the job done it's actually on the high end side in terms of pricing so there's nothing to be worried about here and the ram we're looking at 16 gigs of ram believe it or not ddr5 5200 megahertz even though this is a 1500 dollars pc 16 gigs for a ddr5 model is pretty expensive as of now so yeah we are not gonna go over the budget by a lot that's why we went with 16 gigs you can upgrade to 32 gigs in the future because we have an extra two ram slots the ssd we're looking at one terabyte pcie 4.0 ssd from kingston the very usual kingston mv2 one terabyte one that goes for 50 dollars it gets job done really good uh, boot up times one of the fastest of course and enough space for anything you do now the gpu you're looking at the star of this uh, video this is the amd rx 7900 xdx the reason that with this gpu because right now it goes for one thousand dollars so it's kind of like two hundred dollars cheaper than its competitor which is the rtx 4080 which makes up for a really good value for the money gpu i wish the 7900 xt would go for like 600 to 700 dollars but hey this is what the 7900 xtx kind of represents right now a really good value for money the highest end gpu out there you know and it actually beats the rtx 4080 in a lot of titles uh if you're not using ray trade if you are in trade tracing then this is not the gpu for you and get a 4780i you'd shave off like 200 dollars but you're losing a lot of performance compared to that one now the case we're looking at a cheap case that goes for 60 to 65 dollars there are a lot of options so i'll keep an eye on one linked in the description and i'll make sure to actually update it every now and then and the power supply we're looking at an evga 700 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply now believe it or not this pc doesn't consume over 500 watts because the ryzen 7600 is a pretty power efficient cpu even though it runs hot and the 7900 xtx is pretty hungry but not that hungry to go over 700 watts you know so yeah that's been it if you like the video press on the like button if you want to see more of that can subscribe and stay tuned for the intel version and i'll see you in the next one peace